Hello, the Luck Mom family. Welcome to our live stream. In case you are new here, just feel most welcome. This is the right place to be. My name is the Luck Mom Deborah Nyanchoka. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia. And I create awareness of what happens in the Middle East. Um, I'm just trying to connect. We had uh, we we are having a live discussion with one of mates. She's an ex Kemboi. Lipoteza connection, but she's back. Wow. Yes. What? Hey, what? Nakustia. Yes. Karibu Eh, sasa oh. nimekupatia uwanja ni wako. Yeah. Uh, to introduce I have questions for you watu wameniambia vile nita kuuliza. Oh. Wengine wengi pia watakuuliza kwa comment section. Sasa okay, uwanja ni wako. Aya. Yeah. Alafu in case uh, in case ni ni ihang tena uni call WhatsApp immediately ndio ni juice atuko on. Aya, hi guys, praise the Lord. My name is Lona Jerop, ex Kemboi Saudi Arabia. And I'm so happy to be here with you today. Na na shukuru sana my sister Lucky Debra for giving me the platform and allowing me to be here today. Back to you my sister. Ah uh, karibu sana. Uh, I've been doing uh, stories about Kemboys and Dalalas in Saudi Arabia or in Gulf countries. Na pia ninajua pia wewe umekuwa ukipeana story about Kemboys kwa yeah. kwa mitandao sana maybe watu hawakujui lakini mimi nakujua yeah. and most of the information zingine huwa wanapata kutoka kwako so niko hapa hivi nataka uambie watu kemboi ni nini sasa wewe ndio unajua maana hata kunishinda yeah so guys uh, kemboi ni wale watu wanaenda walafu wanashindwa na kumaliza contract kwa sababu tunapewa contract ya miaka mbili wanashindwa kumaliza contract alafu wanahepa wanaenda nje those are kemboys wana hepa uh -huh. wanaenda maisha maisha ya kujikalisha kujilipia rent kujitafutia chakula na in case of anything the government is not with you ni wewe peke yako na wale watu mmekemboi nao oh ukisema wanaenda nje unamaanisha nini wanaenda nje yani wana hepa wanaenda nje hebu nje hebu hebu eleza hapa nje ya nje ni kwamba ukiwa ndani inamaanisha kwamba uko under kafil kafili ule mtu mwenye amekutoa Kenya akakuja akakuleta akakuleta Saudi lakini sasa ukitoka nje inamaanisha wewe hauko under anybody anymore so uko nje ni kuenda kutoka kwa nyumba ya, ya mdosi unatoka nje unaenda unajikombolea nyumba ni kama ukue kwa mzazi wako alafu usikie wewe umetoka umeenda nje umeenda kujitafutia nje na umeenda maisha yako ingine yeah okay kwa hivyo kumaanisha ukiwa kwa kwa boss we ni mtoto wa boss yes ukitoka oh, ukitoka nje umetoka kwa mzazi yes okay okay so uh, nataka kusikia kuna we, most of the time tunasikia negative stories about kemboys na kuna positive zingine but uh, maybe questions zangu zinaweza kuwa part of negative nyingi percentage kubwa alafu yeah. saa zingine maybe nitakuuliza positive part of it. So, yeah. ulijipataje ukiwa kemboi wewe? How comes ulikujaje ukawa kemboi? 
Okay, mimi nilikuwa nikifanya job na si kukuwa na shida yote. Mimi ni among wale watu wanahepanga with no reason. Unajua kuna watu wanahepa kwa sababu ya peer pressure, kwa sababu ya zile story wanaona kwa mitandao, kwa sababu ile maisha yenye wale makemboi wana display kwa mtandao. So mimi na mimi hakuna maisha niliona na hakuna mtu alinionyesha anything nikaona maybe labda wanaishi maisha mzuri. So mimi nilitaka kurudi nyumbani kwa sababu ya kitu inaitwa homesick. Kwa sababu ya homesick nika nikaanza kutafuta vile naweza nikalipa ticket. Nika nikakuwa kwa mtanda kwa kwa Facebook nikiuliza wale watu na ni kama wako Saudi nikiwauliza mtu anaweza lipaje ticket. Ndio msichana mmoja pale aliniambia badala ya ulipe ticket uende nyumbani na Kenya kufanya nini? Si uhepe utoke hapa nje ufanye kazi of which nilikuwa naishi maisha mzuri mimi nilikuwa nalea mshosho na huyo mshosho hawakunitesa in any way na tuliishi maisha mzuri sana up to date i know if that boss akaulizwa the reason why nilihepa nilikuwa na simu nilikuwa na internet i had everything sikukuwa na reason ya kuhepa so mimi nilihepa tu kwa sababu ya kukosa kukosa guidance na kukosa maarifa yeah Napenda the way uko honest. Uko honest sana kwa sababu wewe homesick imekutoa hata una reason, hauna genuine reason. Kabisa maanisha sio wewe peke yako. Kuna watu wengi wanatoka without genuine reason. Yes. Ah. Watu wengi so, wanatoka bila reason. Okay. Sasa wewe ndio huyu na kemboi. Tuambie safari ya kukemboi sasa unatoka aje kwa hii nyumba. Wewe well, hey hiyo safari ya kukemboi it was so funny na kumbuka that day hiyo uh, nyumba ilikuwa na watoto watano na walikuwa naenda shule wakubwa si wadogo wa my boss because my boss nilikuwa namwangalia mama yake so the all during the all night ule shosho hakulala there is a story there was kulikuwa na story alikuwa anasumbuliwa na majini majini zilikuwa zimemuingia kwa mwili so huyo shosho alikuwa anateseka sana na wakaniambia naturally the moment waliniambia huyo shosho akona jini zinamsumbuanga na zilikataa kutoka kwa mwili mimi sikustuka because at that moment i think nilikuwa naomba sana by the way debra na sikukua siku hiyo mambo haikunistua nikakaa na huyo vizuri sana so hiyo usiku hizo vitu zilimsumbua sana anasikia ni kama vitu zinatembea kwa mwili miguu inauma so the whole night akulala so mchana ndio nilikuwa nakujiwa so hiyo mchana usingizi ikambeba sana wakiwa na dota wake alikuwa amekuja kumtembelea akashikwa na usingizi wakalala sana so hiyo saa nane ule driver akaniambia ameshafika mdosi wangu hiyo siku alikuwa ame travel kwa bibi mdogo hakukuwa alikuwa ameenda Yemen So mimi nikachomoka tu pole pole nikatembea kwa hiyo barabara sio nimejivalia buibui kila mali macho tu peke yake nimebakisha lakini ninaogopa sana unasikia nikao unaweza jikojolea kwa barabara because you don't know ukashikwa what will happen next because you don't know anything kanyaga tu mwendo wa haste haste haraka haraka nikafika kwa ule mtu akaniambia kwanza tutoe line immediately tukatoa line akanipatia igama na hii gama ilikuwa msichana alikuwa amehepa. Huyo msichana alikuwa amehepa akaenda mali, akaenda akaenda kutoka Riyadh akaenda Jida na kwa hiyo harakati ya umesema igama. Kuna mtu hawezi jua igama ni nini kwanza? Ambia watu igama ni nini? Ya 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 ya. Igama ni ID. ID, ID, national ID yenye ukifika kwanza unapewa mdosi wako anakupeleka na passport yako anaenda na kutoeshea at least ukwe na that ID identification card yenye iko na details za mdosi pale ndani. Kwa hivyo ukikuwa kemboi kitu wanatorokanga sana ni kwa sababu ya kukosa igama. Unaona wana yani unatoroka polisi kwa sababu unajua hauna igama unatoroka kwa sababu hauna igama. So nilipewa hiyo higama na ilikuwa inipeleke na kwa hiyo harakati it was so bad kwa sababu pali nilienda kupanda gari ule mtu aliniuliza uh, unaitwa nani nikamwambia juu nilijua igama imeandikwa jina nani swali ya pili ilikuwa 
unaenda wapi nikawaambia nilikuwa bisha naenda jida do you know this guy nilimpatia 2500 akanipatia igama na akaniwacha so ilikuwa shauri yangu moja, yeah. moja. 2500 za Kenya ama za Apana, Kenya Saudi real Saudi reals yes hiyo <laughs> ni pesa ngapi ya Kenya hiyo size ni around mtu akitoa bia na na that that is around itakuwa mtu mwingine itakuwa imefika 70 let me let me check cuz that time tukihesabu na rate ya size mm tukihesabu na rate ya size 2500 rate ya size ni around 36 ama 37 ama 38 that's that seven. seven yeah Ninety-two thousand Kenyan shillings. Ninety-two thousand Kenyan shillings. Umepatia mtu hivi akakupatia ikama. Na akaniwacha hapo. Mhm. Ni wewe na Mungu wako. Ni wewe na Mungu wako. Whatever happens between you. So I was like, kama ningeshikwa hapo, pesa yangu imeenda. Debra. Mimi nika akaniacha bus station akaniambia unachukua gari hapo kwa bus station huyo jamaa akaniuliza akaniangalia akanishuku akaniuliza unaenda wapi nikamwambia naenda jida akaniuliza hapa ni bisha hii id inaandika riyadh wewe unaenda jida how do you explain that nikamwambia okay hapa ni kwa kina mdosi lakini mali penye mdosi alinichukua ilikuwa Riyadh lakini sisi tunaishi na mdosi wetu Jida. So hapa ni kwa mama ya mdosi hapa Bisha. Na huko Jida ndio tunaishingi huku tumekuja kutembea. Kwa hivyo mdosi wangu ananiongoja huko. Akanyamaza. Akaniangalia, akaanza nani amekuleta nikamwambia mdosi ametuma driver aniwache hapa. Niko na huyu mtu he is not adding up. Niko na huyu mtu ananishuku. Nikaangalia ni kamwambia ai nikaanza ku <laughs> aki Debra sije kwa history nikaangalia mtu nikaanza kumwambia ai na unakaa mzuri nikamwambia eh hey, mashallah inti mara helwa haki sijawaiona mtu kama wewe unajua mimi nakuanga nimefungiwa so the guy is on the other side na mimi niko hii side ya ukamtongoza nikamtongoza nikamtongoza yes nikaanza kutongoza huyo mtu <laughs> kwanza kumtongoza akili yake ikapotea I think alikuwa si mfilipin ni kama wa waindi ni muindi alikuwa muindi alikuwa muindi na kuambia ile kutongoza huyo mtu alijipata ameniandikia receipt ya kutoka juu tulikuwa tunatoka bisha to taif alafu taif to jida akaniambia wale watu wamekaa pale taif kwa nini kwa bus station wanakuanga wakali sana. Wacha ni kuandikia mpaka jida direct. Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo ukifika taif hautasimamishwa na mtu. Na kuambia huyo mtu alinijazia haraka hata bila kuniuliza maswali mengine. Cha 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 akaweka stamp akaniambia shika. Sasa akaanza kuambia mzee mwingine alikuwa hapo akamwambia e, kuna supu nyingine ina uzango mzuri hapa nyuma siwende uangalie. Shika pesa wende ununue ndio sasa apate time na mimi na ya Mungu ni nani ule mzee akakataa kutoka hapo ule mjamaa akazunguka akazunguka tukakaa hapo tukiongea na signs mpaka 3 hours ikaisha basi ilikuwa inachukua 3 hours time so 3 hours ikaisha nikapanda kwa basi akanizindikisha mpaka kwa basi lakini ikamuuma sana yani nimeenda hivyo mimi nikaenda so, ngoja ngoja wacha unaenda wapi Kumaanisha yes. sasa wewe hii madrai spray yako imekupatia tena lugha ya kutongoza mwanaume hapa ndio upitie kwa barabara. Of course. Alafu ndio sio anajua watu wako na dry spell hapa nje na wambia mimi sijawaiona mwanaume. Haki wewe ni wa kwanza. Haki nimekupenda. Ha. Mwanaume nakwambia alikuwa anakaa ananiambia mwili yangu yote imekuwa moto. Nitafanya nini? Na kwambia huyo mwanaume nikamwacha tu hapo mimi gari ikachukuliwa shu nikaenda niko na tikiti yangu mpaka jida direct kufika taifa pesa ngoja 
Nipatia driver 2500. Nilibaki na pesa kwa mkono ama amekunipea pesa ya ya pesa ni kina 500. Kwa sababu kutoka hapo mpaka pale ilikuwa 200. Because it is far. 12 hours drive. Yeah. Kufika Taif tukashuka. Sasa pale Taif Debra na kuambia kwa, kwa bus station ya Taif. Warabu peke yake ndi wamejipanga hapo. Wote wamefunga kutra kwa kichwa ile kitambaya ya kichwa. Warabu piuwa. Pale hakuna ati muindi ya mana. Ndiyo mana umuindi ya kupita Taif ni ngumu. So wana, wana, kama ujapigiwa muhuri ya kupita hapo unawapitia unapigiwa muhuri So kuna moja aliangalia angu wakaniambia hako imepigiwa muhuri ingia kwa gari So wengine wote wana, wanaangaliwa, wanaangaliwa, wanaangaliwa Mimi nikapita kwa gari mpaka jida Sasa kupika jida nikatumiwa taxi driver kutoka pale jida Mpaka waleo huyo taxi driver na kuanga good friend of mine Alikuwa msudani Haka nikujia Haka nipeleka mpaka kwa ile nyumba ya girlfriend wa huyu mjama mwenye alikuja haka nipatia igama na kaenda. Huyu mjama alikuwa long distant eh, driver wale wa truck. So kunichukua kunieka kwa gari ingine alienda mpaka damam kuenda kuchukua msichana mwingine tena amlete tena. Unaona? So kwa siku that guy made money. Kwa siku kumwaja he made 5,000 real. Yes. So nikachukuliwa. No no no. Tu usipige jida kwanza. Yeah. Huyu ni driver hujawahi muona. Yeah. Umempatia pesa. Hata hajakwambia yeah. what happened. Wewe ukadhani amepotea, si ndio? Yes. Kuna uwezekano huyu driver angefanyia kitu chochote hapa. Vile umetoka, ameleta yeah. simu toa laini. Hapa katikati si una si kuna maybe kuna wale watu ambao wame Pato wana shida wakipatana na uyo driver mugeni Umjui? Ya, yeah, ya yeah. Umempea pesa, umempea Anaiza kufanyi kitu chote Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, it's true It is But eh, huyu sasa Huyu akukua na iyo tabia Kwa sababu beta alikuwa mkisi Na alikuwa ule, ule ni girlfriend yake Na walikuwa napendana sana na uyo girlfriend yake So Do kuna mahadi after nimesha afika Alijaribu kitu after nimesha afika Sese malikuwa mzuri ya that Ini time ikukua Unona, ni time haikukua hapo Lakini after nimesha fika Something happened, fishy But kwa hii arakati Julikuwa so fast I think katuku kane hata for 30 minutes Tulikane for like 20 minutes And Shika eh, ID Tuende, hapa ndio unaingia Na kaenda Yeah Okay. So unajua ni pili alikuwa na customer ingine. Uyo alikuwa after money. Alitaka kueke, alafu wenda chukue mwingine na kuje na pesa. Even do, maybe yeah. even do wanatengeneza pesa zingine extra. So, yes. lakini wakati alipata time, alijaribu kitu fishy. Kumanisha hii, ta, hii yeah. kama angekua na endea msichana, angejaribu hiyo yeah. kitu fishy, hata kama ni kuwa mwari. Of course, kama sijafika. Kwa sababu madriver wengi wanafanyanga hivo, madriver wengi wanapenda majedid, wacha ni wambia. Na kama kuna watu wanatekiwa advantage ni Jedid from way back up to here. Jedid anachukulia ngo kama vajo. Unaona? Ambia watu, so, jedid. Ambia least, watu jedid. Jedid. Jedid ni, jedid ni mstana mgeni. Mwenye amehepa tu kwa kafiri. Mwenye amehepa kwa mdosi tu that day. Huyo anakuanga eh, hot cake. Kwa sababu wamekua na dry spray Kwa ya mujui ni ya muda gani Kwa hivu wanatakanga huyo Unapata hata okay. Hata hata Sanko. Kwa hivu na girlfriend yake Lakini ya mind uh -huh. Ok Tupeleke mbaka jida sasa kwa nyumba Ya yeah, sasa jida nimefika Nimetukuliwa Nimefika kwa nyumba Kufika kwa nyumba Kitu ya kwanza nilikaribishwa nayo ilikuwa muratina. Ilikuwa imepikwa, pombe ilikuwa, changa ilikuwa, masigara na bangi zilikuwa. So, hapo ni hiyo Saudi moja ama ni Saudi ngini? Hiyo Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Arabia moja ama kuna Saudi? Hiyo Saudi Arabia moja. 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 Yes. Hapo mm -hmm. kuna pombe. Kwa umetumia hizo kifomu? Before nikiwa hapa inji hapana. 
Hata Kenya. So, hata Kenya kuonyesha ya kwamba hata Kenya, hata Kenya zi. So, lakini kuonyesha ya kwamba unataka u fit in, unajua utaki kuonyesha wewe ni fala. So, uh-huh. if you find a place, eh, utaki kuonyesha wewe ni mjinga. Na kuna mtu anakuuliza unatumianga ama utumiangi? Unasema leta, leta. Mimi nikachukua, nikaanza hapo hiyo siku sasa wageni ni wengi. Wanaume wa Kenya wenye wa kwa... Wageni sasa ni au wa Kenyans, Kenyan men wenye wametoka kwa kampuni. Wasichana wanatoka kwa nyumba zao tofauti tofauti wanakutana kwa nyumba moja. Unajua Kemboi wanakuanga kama community. Kemboi is a wame create community yenye siku fulani wanapanga tunaenda kwa hii nyumba. Pombe inunuliwe hapo, wenye wanavuta bangi wavute hapo, wenye wanafanya kila kitu hapo. Unapata saa nyingine kuna couples. Watu wamekuja couples, 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 couples. Wewe uko hapo, unaona? Kuna maybe wale wengine wenye wana wana, wana nini wana wanatamani wanataka wanataka kukukatia na wako na watu wao hapo kwa sababu ni kemboy. So those things happened a lot. Yeah. Wewe ili kuchukua muda gani kupata mwanaume kwa sababu kama kila mtu anakuwa na mwanaume wewe ulibaki hivyo ama hiyo dry spell ilipoa? Hapana at first at first at unajasa ukiwa mgeni umshaambiwa unajasa una, unapata ya kwamba au ase hata kama mimi nilishia kwa nilikuja kwa na chalid it was later on see at that moment ilikuja kuja baadaye but now at that moment wenye wanakukatia ni wenye wako na wenyewe unaona na sasa ushaambiwa ushaambiwa huyu ni wa huyu huyu ni wa huyu huyu ni wa huyu sijaribu but wanakukatia like no man's business mpaka mwenye unaishi naye mtu wake anakutaka Mwenye anakuja mm-hmm. unajua ile ni girlfriend yake anakutaka. Ndio unapatanga eh, ile rival unasikianga Dalala amekosana na Majedid ama Dalala amekosana na wale wasichana wenye wamekuja inakuwa kwa sababu ya mwanaume si kitu kingine. Ah. Ya. Yeah. Ngoja sasa hii nyumba mm. au watu wenye unasikia mtu amewaua kwa sababu kwa kumaanisha au wanaume wameshachoka na au watu wao wa kawaida wanataka huyu jedid. So jedid anapigwa na dalala ama na wale kemboi wenye wame expire. Yes. yes. Sasa hiyo ndio main reason. Wacha sasa ni kupe story. Unaona mm-hmm. Debra kitu ya kwanza au wasichana wako na pesa sana. Sawa. Na au wanaume uh-huh. hawananga pesa. Okay? Na unapata uh-huh. wengine wako kwa umalaya na hao ndio wanavalisha mpaka wanaume nguo. Sawa. Unapata uh-huh. ndio wananunulia wanaume nguo, wanawatumia mpaka pesa nyumbani. Wanawapatia pesa. Alafu wewe mwanaume unataka uende unihanye. Saa zingine tu appoint hao wanaume, wacha tu niseme juu ni vitu saa hizi inajulikana iko everywhere. Hao wanaume Kenyans ndio wanasaidia hao wasichana wao kufanya umalaya kwa ile harakati ya wana chat. So, huyu mimi mimi ni mwanaume na chatia girlfriend yangu. Kuchat ni kufanya aje kuna sites. Hizo sites za kutafuta men for business. So, hizo mm. chat mimi mwanaume anachukua site moja app anaenda ana, akiwa kwa akiwa kwa job huko ana chat ana chat na mwanaume ni pesa ngapi ah ya round ngapi pesa ngapi wanasikizana wakishasikizana ni pesa ngapi anaambia beb fungua mlango kuna mtu ni kuna mtu anakamu aya anakuja na pesa ngapi anakuja na mia mbili anakuja na mia tatu aya fungua mlango ndio huyu yako kwa mlango ukiingia beb anakisha kuna mwingine anakamu unasikia sasa hiyo unapata pia nyumba iko na room maybe mbili tatu mwanaume anajificha kwa ile room nyingine mwanaume wako anakuchatia akiwa pale sawa But sasa inakuja inafika mahali huyu mwanaume anataka dem mwingine. Unaona? So wewe unataka ufanye umalaya lakini utaki mwanaume wako afanye umalaya. Okay? So you are okay. Unasikia uchungu. Na kitu unafanya usikie uchungu ni kwamba utaki kuwa na mtu wako na mtu mwingine na yeye amekukubalia ukae na mtu mwingine. Alafu the love 
Debra hakuna mapenzi mbaya kama mapenzi ya Saudi. Manzi utaua. Sikudanganya utaua. Hiyo mapenzi na ni kama ya shetani. Moja naona. Unajua sisi tunataka kujua. <laughs> hey. Hata kama tutaongea the whole of this year we, we need to know, we need to know. Uh, yeah. Na kama tunataka usiwaambie kwanza hiyo round, round moja uanga ni pesa ngapi? Round moja. Hebu tuambie hii e, round moja ni pesa ngapi? Most of the time unasikia kama nilikuwa nauliza wengine okay sasa hizi nini round round moja okay ni pesa ngapi unasikia ule wale unasikia wanasema majedidi wamekuwa wengi like right now watu naongea nao right now unasikia wanakuambia wasichana wamekuwa wengi to a point that wanakubali mpaka 50 bob So What? 50 bob ni kwa hivyo bei ni chini 50 bob ni pesa ngapi sasa hivi 50 bob ni 50 times 1600 1800 1800 unaona 1800 of which inawauma wanasema kuna wakati walikuwa wanachukua 500 wanasema walikuwa wanachukua 500 pa times 37 yeah walikuwa wanachukua 500 18k 18k pa pa, pa round unaona So kama tulikuwa tunachukua 18k na wewe unakuja unachukua 1800 wanakasirika nao wasichana sana alafu wamehepa wengi wao wow, wao wow. wasichana wanahepea mpaka airport alafu ni warembo sasa kitu inaoma wasichana wamekuja warembo wadogo wadogo wamekuja wameharibu soko na hao ndio bado wanawachukulia wasichana wa By the way that is another story sikuwa itaka kuongea kwa tuko unapata mtu alikuwa walikuwa naandika hapo chini wanasema hiyo mahali pengine penye hujaongea useme sisi tutakuja kusema cause unajua most of my friends they are there na sikuwa nataka ku feel ku feel ni kama na, na, na nini na, na, na I'm exposing too much but by the time pale tumefika saizi so many videos zenye zinatokea Debra zimeshaandika what is happening it is not a secret anymore yeah Uh, unajua sometimes hata Mungu anaweza yeah. kukutoa kwa hiyo shimo amu yenyewe i want you to create awareness i want my people wakwe in the safe place at least saizi mm. umesema hiyo rate ilikuwa 18k round moja then saizi imekuwa 1800 so wale watu wenye wako kwa contract na wamefungua macho hivi na masikio wanataka kukemboi wajue bei imearibika kama ni dress spell na kupeleka nje hakuna pesa jioni nimeona mtu anauliza huko nje kuna pesa vile watu wanasema hiyo comment nilipita hebu tu, tuambie hapo kama kuna yeah. let me what I want moja naweza nikasema ya kwamba number one, ukiwa job ya ndani unalipwa that ngapi wacha tuseme that is seven almost that is five wacha tuweke that is five yes sir ah. wacha tuweke that is five k muambie kwa nini hakuna mm-hmm. pesa Alafu mtu atoke nje alipo 1800 times wacha ni wacha nikeza 65 tu tuweke 60k tuweke pesa ya chini 60k ama tuweke 70000 Ule analipwa 70000 akiwa nje wewe unalipwa 35000 ukiwa ndani Haya wacha tuweke tu hapo wewe mwenye umelipwa 35000 ukiwa ndani haununui food haulipi rent kama ni mangu unanunua dera mbili tatu in maybe three months au nunui you are capable of saving more huyu mwenye analipwa 70000 analipa rent tuseme saa zingine wanagawana rent na watu wengine wanalipa rent ya 15000 sawa maybe kama wanaishi watu kama watano wa sita kwa nyumba alipe rent ya wacha tumwekea 20000 alipe rent ya 20000 akilipa 20 anabaki na 50000 Akibaki na 50,000 anunue chakula. Juko ile nimba lazima anunue chakula. Akinunua chakula, ako na mangua anafaa anunue kwa sababu pale nje mnashindana. Lazima kila mtu akae poa. Si eti unavaa dera, mm-hmm. lazima ukae smart. Sahau kuna party. Siku ya kwenda party, kuvaa peke yake juu mpaka chini, lazima at least to spend. U spend not less than 500 riyals not less than 500 juu zile pati zinaendwa pale debra lazima utengeneze nywele kuanzia juu mpaka chini mpaka suruali ni mpya kwa sababu tukisema dress code ni blue ama ni white tunapitana kwa mall sisi wote tukienda kununua hizo manguo you get so mm-hmm. you find that 
by the time inafika mwisho wa mwezi huyu mwenye ako ndani kwa mdosi she will save more she will do more than mwenye ako nje na ataishi maisha si ya kuogopa alafu hao watu wenye wako nje ma Q si miezi yote utalipwa utafanya kazi hiyo mwezi unyanganywe utosheke ufanya mwezi mwingine unyanganywe utosheke lakini wewe mwenye uko ndani uko guaranteed ya ile pesa yako utapata wacha niwaambie wanasemanga zile vitu unaona kwa social media ni vitu inazafanya kuinfluence mtu but si kila kitu ukweli msikuwa mnaona unatoa nikipiga picha niki smile maybe nilikuwa nimeka maybe nimekasirika but i'll smile for a minute na nikiaka hiyo simu chini ya uji kitu itakuwa napitia from that moment. So watu wasidanganywe na ile maisha wanaona kwa social media. I'm telling you it is better ukae kwa kafil, umalize contract yako. I have my friends that went to Qatar. Na waulizanga amjahepa. Unajua kuna wale mwingine walitoka kia, nini ka, Saudi, wakaenda Qatar na pia wanafanya kazi ya kuepesha wasichana Qatar. Alikuwa ananiambia Lona hata akina fulani wameshindwa akiniambia wakuje wanichukue wanichukue mimi nimekataa ile mambo nimefanya kama niko ndani kwa mdosi A, i, ni mambo mingi sana siwezi nikakompea ile miaka ambayo niliwesi Saudi Arabia akaniambia mimi mambo ya kuepa na si mmoja ama wawili watatu walikwama kwa mdosi kwa sababu wanajua maisha yenye iko nje ni maisha ya uongo na kudanganya watu yes yeah. at least we are getting something from you Lona uh, unajua yeah. now since you talking uh, Saudi Arabia yeah kuna maswali nitakuuliza uh, yeah, yeah. since utoke Saudi Arabia yeah uh, tuseme ulikuwa umekaa Saudi Arabia ndio na umekuwa na hiyo mambo ya uko na hiyo experience ya kimbui umefanya nini kama ku create awareness hiyo ndio question nataka kukuuliza umefanya nini what have you yeah. done ku create awareness now that umesema i have to create awareness umefanya nini so far yenye unaweza sema yenyewe this is what i've been doing debra Yes, what have you done? Okay, kabla kabla nikumalizie niku nikwambie hiyo, si, wacha nikupatie another part ambayo mapolisi wanatafutananga na makemboi sana. Ile maisha yengine yenye makemboi ya watu waonyesha video ni wakati wanahama from one houses to another houses kwa sababu ya polisi. Hmm. Saa zingine hmm. nyumba unasikia ngo akisema nyumba imeharibika. Nyumba inaharibika mm. wakati unasikia wameingiza sana. Wameingiza wanaingiza customer sana mpaka hiyo awareness inakuwa created na polisi wanaanza kukimbizana nao. So kuhama kwa hii nyumba mm. maybe umelipa rent jana. Umelipa rent jana imekunywa maji, polisi wanatafuta hiyo siku jioni ni kuhepa unatoka hapa umeacha vitu kwa hiyo nyumba, mumeenda kwa nyumba ingine Saa zingine mimi nimekimbizwa na mapolisi mara mingi huko nje hiyo ndio wapatia stories kwingine unatoka nje umeenda kununua bangi polisi ni yao mbio mm-hmm. si eti pole pole polisi na gari iko juma yako so ni kutoka mbio mbio kwa sababu akili yako ina ring unaenda Kenya bila hata shilingi what is going to happen haya what i've been doing to create awareness nimekuwa na by the way i did a story on tuko with lin goge ile wakati alikuwa tuko Uh, and also with Jeff Koinange and again niko na YouTube channel uh, and na create awareness pale kwa YouTube channel na YouTube channel yangu inajita Lona Jerop official on my YouTube channel <coughs> and then I began uh, a series kuna series nimeanza ya ya skits so ninafanya skits so kwa hizo skits ndio nitakuwa nina 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 nina, nina, portray. nina portray that kind of life yenye iko pale Saudi ambayo watu wajawai jua kwa sababu sijaona watu wengi wakifanya na ninaifanya nimeanza pale kwa TikTok na pia nitakuwa na post on my YouTube channel and on TikTok naitwa Lona Jerop on 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 YouTube I'm Lona Jerop official on Facebook I'm Evangelist Lona Ah uh, hiyo evangelist ilikuja wakati when i came back to Kenya nilishikwa na depression wadau 
I'm telling you I was telling people unajua wakati hii live ilisimama siku anajua ninaongea so nilikuwa naongea naendelea kuongea siku anajua hakuna mtu ananisikia and I was giving a story vile nilipata kazi ya kufundisha na Debra that moment nilipata kazi mbili zilikuwa zinanilipa total of 5900 Saudi real na that money haikunisaidia kwa sababu kwa ile maisha ya pale nje nilikuwa kwa ulevi sana ikafika mahali mpaka nikaingia kwa hard drug hiyo drug zinaitwa staff wale watu wengi wanajua inaitwa staff and it pains my heart kwa sababu many of my friends wamebaki pale ni kama cocaine ni kama cocaine una sniff and then ina 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 nini ina tampa na your brain alafu haukuli so nilikonda sana i was from 80 kg to 58 kg unakonda ni kama cocaine kabisa and it is so addictive and very expensive so ilifika mahali my, my fellow kemboys wakaniambia lona mali mefika you better go home because mali penye unaelekea siku zuri nilikuwa nimeshikana uh, 99% of my friends were arabs mimi sikuwa na deal na kenyans nilikuwa na 99% of arabs ndio walikuwa wananiletea those drugs au wanakuja na ile bangi kubwa na those hard drugs very expensive a gram ilikuwa inauzwa 15000 kenyan shillings at that moment size yeah. ni kama 20000 na wa Kenya wengi sana wameingia in those drugs so wakati nilifika Kenya nilikuwa so depressed and then Debra I did not save anything because of drugs nilikuwa na only 26000 in my account nika mtu nilituma enda nitolee hiyo pesa nikampatia 3000 akaniletea 23000 na hiyo 23000 I drank all of it nikaingia sasa kwa ile ulevi chip kwa sababu sina pesa ya kukunywa na lazima ni maintain that kind of life so nikaingia kwa bangi nikakuwa na hizi bangi sasa local za hapa Kenya zenye watu wananunua 50 bob wanakuletea tuvute pamoja sasa hata ziko zinaingia kwa kichwa ninaenda kwa ba Debra ninakaa chini na glasi ya glasi ya maji juu sina hata hiyo pesa ya kununua hiyo pombe so unakaa tu under the mercy ya wale watu wanaingia wakinunua wakuwekee wa kuwekea kidogo kidogo so ikifika asubuhi leo unataka tu ufike kwa nyumba ulale tu bleki because nilikuwa so depressed na ile ma- macho watu wanakuangalia nayo ile ya huyu ametoka Saudi juzi hana anything amekuja amekonda anakaa vibaya watu wanafikia nimekonda juu ya kuteswa hawajui ni ma drugs nilikuwa natumia so nilikuja nika, nika I was almost suicidal because nilikuwa na battle depression and anxiety so it happened for long nilikuwa my my order of the day ilikuwa niamke niende ninunue mugoka mugoka ni hiyo ya kukula hivi mira nianze na bangi niende nichukue mugoka alafu nikule nikule ifike masaa jioni niende nikae kwa ba niongoje wale watu wananunua pombe waniletee pombe na sigara na bangi i'm telling you i was a ratchet I was a ratchet to a point mpaka sasa hizi people that know me around my place wananiangalia yango wananiambia lone nyewe unafaa ukikumbuka mali penye umetoka unaokoka tena times two. so it reached a Amen. moment that god saved me by grace god saved me by grace ambayo nikikumbuka debra i never used to have sleep alafu saudi ilikuwa imefungwa the most painful thing jumi nilikuja na amnesty so ningerudi saudi nilikuwa supposed ni rudi kwa sababu amnesty ni kwamba kuna wakati government inasamehea wale watu ambao wali walihepa inasema imewarenda forgiveness so mnakuja mnajileta mnajistaki unajistaki kwa serikali inakutengenezea makaratasi wewe unajilipia ticket unakuja Kenya kukusameni ni kwamba you can come back to Saudi again hata unaweza step Kenya na urudi Saudi kesho yake basi vile tulifika Kenya hivi tukiwa na some of my friends uh, ikakuwa ngumu ju Saudi ilikuwa imefungwa so hiyo Saudi kufungwa was so painful for me because there is no else i can go it is only Saudi that i can go back to na kumefungwa so nilikuwa so much depressed but i thank god that god saved me by grace ni god alini save akaniokoa and up to now um so napenda sana kuninia awareness about uh, what is going on there and by god's grace I believe that I will go to Saudi one day just to preach the gospel. Kwa sababu unaona kama sasa hizi by the way guys unapata wanaitangwa aje hao watu musicians. Do you know musicians are going to Saudi right now? 
hata saa hii mm-hmm. kuna musician huyu hawa wanaitwa wa, um, Karoka True na bwana yake wako Saudi sasa hizo wamepeleka Mugidi Saudi. Na unadhani wamepelekea nani Mugidi? Wamepelekea Kimboys. Na makimbona alipa kila mtu per head for VIP wanalipa 150 SR wengine wanalipa 100 SR for regular. Na wanaenda wengi. So if musicians are going there right now to to nini to to kwenda ku perform hata mimi naamini God siku moja I will go there and go and preach the gospel there kwa sababu the the, the nini you want it kwapo so that is my desire and that is my ambition one day yeah okay kuna mtu anasema ilikuwaje ukarudi Kenya bila passport alafu mwingine anauliza ulikaa for how long Saudi Arabia yeah ati ilikuwaje nikarudi na ina passport. Yeah yeah. So number one, passport ilibaki kwa mdosi. Na hii wakati hizi documents by the way nitakuja kuwaonyesha. Hizo documents. Ngoja smile kidogo. Watu wanasema ninakasirika. Wacha ni smile. Eh okay, endelea naona. <laughs> so hizi documents kuna documents unatengenezewa na serikali serikali ya Kenya na ya Saudi so traveling documents inaitwa emergency emergency dra- traveling documents so ukitengenezea wasi lazima ukue na passport kwa sababu ni the Kenyan embassy na wa Saudi ndio wanatengenezea makaratasi hizo za amnesty so tuliweza kurudi kwa sababu hiyo kitu inaitwa amnesty kuna wakati serikali ita, inatangaza inatangaza ya kwamba wale ambao wote mulihepa kwa mdosi mumesamehewa So mnaenda mnachukuliwa fingerprints. Unaambiwa jisalimishe. Unajisalimisha unachukua unachukuliwa fingerprints and then after that you are done. Unakuja home. Unajilipia oh, ticket. So. Alafu nilikaa Saudi for three years. Aha. Yeah. Okay. So tuseme yeah. Hakuna faida ulipata kutoka kwa hii maisha ya kukimboi. Hakuna hauna hakuna faida ulipata. Kwa sababu ninaona watu wana blog Wa nikijaribu kusema mambo ya kimboi mtu anasema we mwanamke uko na wivu kimboi wametenda mambo so nataka kujua wewe watari kuambie unaona pesa ya makanga pesa ya makanga Kenya pesa ya makanga pesa ya driver pesa ya malaya pesa ya nani mwingine wale watu wanapatanga pesa ya haraka au watu hawajui kutumia pesa kwa sababu wanajuanga nitapata Mind ya kemboy ni kwamba next month nita save. Next month nita save. Ikifika next month afanye kitu. Next month I'm telling you the number of kemboys ambao wamefanya kitu out of 100% I can give them 20%. 80% percent they are still struggling. Yes. Kwanza oh. sasa hivi maisha imekuwa ngumu na imekuwa ngumu mpaka huko paketi ya sigara nilikuwa naambiwa packet nilikuwa na nunuanga 8 real 7 reals packet of cigarette sasa hii unasikia paketi ni around 24 25 reals so maisha imeanauliza eh yani tanauliza ati serikali itasamea watu lini tena pia yeye ajipeleke <laughs> oh serikali <laughs> nitawaambia nita nitawaambia keep following me When you keep following me I'll tell you because when they create that awareness wakisema ya kwamba siku imefika ya amnesty tunajuanga nitawaambia for now imekaka imekaka for some time but najua before the end of this year nasikia rumors before the end of this year ama early next year kutakuwa na amnesty Okay Lona uh, ah yeah. ninataka kwa sababu what you are doing is we are just we are having the same goal we have common objective And what I will yeah. request you because I want to give you my platform yeah, so that you so at least you also can grow na watu wengine wajue what you are doing because maybe kuna wenye wakujui kuna wenye wamekuona for the first time kuna watu wa the lucky yeah. mom family wamekuona for the first time uh, at least wewe unapeananga mafunzo kindani ndani kwanza wewe uko na first hand information so yeah. ubesema watu wanaweza kupata aje kwa kwa Facebook Ukona yeah, kwa Facebook page. my name is uh, Evangelist Lona Jero but sasa kwa, kwa Facebook most of the time what I do kwa Facebook I share the word na sometimes I give my story but on TikTok live most of the time on TikTok live we shall we talk about tunaingia kwa undani sasa tunaingia kwa undani tunawaambia zile mambo zenye mwezi mkaambiwa hapa nje 
on Facebook, on TikTok, that is my name is Lona Jerop on TikTok. And then on YouTube, Lona Jerop Official. Lona Jerop oh. Official, follow my, my, my teachings, how, can, how you can go back to Kenya, being a Kemboi, is what is Kopale. Yeah. Ah, uh, kuna lila na nauliza ulirudi yeah. ulirudi Kenya na kitu chochote kilikuwa nacho kama maybe ni nguo bag maybe wanataka kujua okay oh vitu nilikuja nazo unajua nilikuwa na nyumba nilikuwa na nyumba full pack so nilipack vitu zangu nikiaka kwa meli ai nilipa pesa mingi nililipa around mziko nilipa around 2300 Eh yeah, niko nayo receipt mpaka leo 2380 nitakuja kuonyesha hiyo receipt nikalipa kuka TV nilikuwa nimetuma before so nikatuma mizigo yangu yote Kenya and then about money i only had 23000 oh kuna ah uh, bon yes. survivor kuna mtu anawatch hapa for the first time and i want to welcome her anasema anaitwa bon survivor and this is the first time uh, is watching from tabu just feel welcome sasa yeah. utakuwa na watch kila wakati yeah. so lona mm. uh, saa zingine unajua kuna wale watu wa comments wanasema oh uko na machungu sana kuongea mambo ya saudi because you didn't save sijui kama hizo comments unazionanga because most yeah, of the time huwa na watch zinakuanga let me tell you guys you learn from experience I'm not the first one I'll never be the first one na ndio tunajaribu wacha Saudi ni karibu wacha Saudi ni karibu naweza waambia have friends that are in America Australia you need uh, a London UK tunaongeanga nao sana unasikia mtu anakuambia niko na almost 20 years na sijanunua mpaka shamba okay so niwaambie kitu moja mimi ni mwenye ninasema vile ili happen wengi hawasemi na nikisema it is to encourage you to do something about yourself yes ah uh, mwingine anasema hizo 23 zilikuwa za Kenya ama za Saudi ni za Kenya ah uh, wacha nikwambie lona zote <laughs> lona ah uh, ume, ume, umetaja evangelist ah mm. uh, umetaja kimboi umetaja yeah. bangi hizo vitu zote in the same sentence kuna mtu amechanganyikiwa mahali evangelist ndio hii kimboi ndio hii bangi ndio hii ndio hii yani hizo vitu kwa one sentence hebu naweza nataka kukupea nafasi useme why are those words in one sentence kwa nini ni the same sentence ziko in one line yeah kimboi nilikimboi nikahepa kwa mdosi Nikatoka nje nikaanza kuvuta bangi nikakunywa pombe nikatumia hard drugs inaitwa stuff the likes of akina cocaine aya nikakuja Kenya nikashikwa na depression nikakunywa kabisa nikavuta bangi tena kabisa and then at the end of it all nikakuja nikaokoka na nikakuwa nika mwinjilisti nikakuwa evangelist wa kuambia watu ya kwamba hakuna mahali Mungu hawezi akatoa mtu and there is nothing that God cannot do Ebu, Amen So saizi Yes <laughs> Saizi mnasikia mimi naongea na evangelist Unajua ndio maana mtu yeye atakuambia sio kitu yeye atakuwa ana feature yani uh, I, yani lona kitu na nifurahisha yeah. sasa hivi naongea na, na mtumishi wa Mungu. By the mi, mi pia napenda God sana. Lakini kitu na nifurahisha yeah. naongea na mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye sasa akituambia the past ni mtu wako na experience na anajaribu kuongea ile kitu yenye ile happen. So I don't think kama kuna vile unaweza ongeza chumvi kwa sababu sasa hizi uko na Mungu ndani yako. So yeah. I doubt kama unaweza ongeza vitu chumvi. So kuna kuna kitu watu kuongea sana kuhusu mimba na ukiwa mgonjwa kemboi wanaenda hospitali wapi Okay kuna kwanga unajua kuna private hospitals kitu watu wengi hawajawahi jua kuko na private hospitals wakati mtu anakuwa mgonjwa na ni kemboi enzi akaenda kwa public hospital kwa sababu public mm-hmm. hospital lazima upeni ID lakini uh, private hospitals au peani ID and then on the case of mimba and everything unapata mostly kuna wale unaona kama Kenya kama Kenya unapata kuna daktari mwenye anafanya kazi kwa main hospital alafu daktari mwingine huyo daktari mwenye anafanya main hospital anakuja kwake anatengeneza kliniki yake 
kwa hivyo anaweza accommodate everybody so most of the time eh, kimboys hawana shida sana wenye wako na shida ni wale hawajakana au makemboi wengine wajue vile unajua lazima ukae na watu ndio ujue vile wana manuva Juma na wengi wameza sure. watoto wanalea watoto sikuizi wanafanya mpaka sijui zinaitu waja hizi baby showers unashindwa watu wanaenda wanazaa wapi those private hospitals ndio wanawasaidia kuna story ilifanyika by the way debra utanialika hapa tena kwa sababu story ni mingi ya tujanguzia hapo ka story ndo wapatia siku mwanja kuna msichana alianguka alijiru, alijirusha ndio alikuwa na hepa so walikuwa wameshikiwa mahali ndio wapelekwe deportation so walikuwa around second so wakaruka chini so mmoja akavunjika kuna vile aliteguka mgongo akashindwa kutembea so mapolisi wakakuja wakamuokota hapo wakampeleka hospitali ya serikali na so alikuwa nda serikali Debra cheza na makemboi we makemboi si mama zenyu na kuambia wasichana walienda wakavaa vizuri wakachukua stretcher nini inaitwaje wheelchair wakaenda kama watu wanaenda kuona mtu hospitali wakaenda wakachukua mwenzao wakamweka kwa wheelchair wakatoka na pole pole tu kama wamemvalisha vizuri na wakamuingiza kwa gari na wakapotea na yeye wakaenda sasa wakamtafutia sasa nini matibabu kwa wale madaktari wao wa kawaida so these things are happening kwa sababu unajua ukiwa kwa hospitali ya serikali utaibiwa yeah sure kuna mtu ananiambia debra uh, pay alone time ya kujieleza i'm sorry kama nimempeleka mbio kama nimeongea on her behalf you know means it is there but i'm learning Yo, so oh, bila watu wananiambia i don't mwambie mwambie we shall Yeah, yeah mwambie anasema ni kupea time niache ku interrupt anasema niache ku interrupt hapa katikati ni kupea time uongee kumaanisha watu bado wanahitaji uongeleshe but sasa because of uh, tunataka nitakuwa nakupatia time by the way yeah nitakupatia nitakuwa nakupatia hii platform you share what you have yeah. na watu wa kufollow pale kwa facebook yako yeah. youtube yeah, wa yeah. wa kufollow they subscribe yeah, yeah. alafu yeah. nataka kuna mtu kuna kimbo yako hapo kwa kona ako na depression ako na stress ajui anzie wapi anataka kujua kama uko na simu ama anaweza kutafuta kuchatisha by the way you say is you say uko sober sijui naweza nika shuka yako hapa yeah eh eh sema ukiambia kuiandika yeah well, wacha tu ni type hapa 484386 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so yeah. so uh -huh. uh, yeah. yote sasa Tangurudi umemaliza miaka ngapi Kenya Tangurudi? Nimekaa nilikama around uh, almost 2018. So niko na almost 5 years. But siku mm -hmm. zimeenda it, it, it is just like uh, yesterday. Na mm -hmm. wacha niseme God ameenda. Unajua kuka kufika na hauna job. Kufika mm -hmm. na hauna job and you don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. Nasema ya kwamba God amekuwa faithful. Juu mahali penye niko saa hii si mahali penye nilianzia. Kufika mahali hauna anything. That time nilikuwa na mtoto mmoja, sasa hizi niko na watatu. There are three now. Niliongeza watoto wawili, thank God. But naweza sema up to now God has been so faithful. From my story vile story yangu ili, ili, ilikuwa viral sometime then kuna some destiny connectors ambao God alinipatia they have been supporting me time to time and supporting my ministry also ninashukuru God because of that yeah hey, kuna mtu anaweza sema na huyu evangelist huwa anahubiri wapi kuna kuna watu wanasema mimi na, na, naenda kwa chachi yake naenda kwa chachi yake yeah. <laughs> Yeah eh, actually at uh, Panaus Jafungua Church the only church that I have niko na online church niko na online church hapa kama e-devotion ya Mama Debra 
niko nayo every week i'm here on facebook ukienda kwa facebook yangu utapata evangelist lona you can follow me from now utapata pale nikihubiri pale and uh, sijafanya by the way sijajua vile naweza fanya my my facebook page kuwe ikuwe a page my facebook nini ikuwe a page lucky mama utaniambia baadaye what i'll do about it it is not yeah, a page yeah. already but mtu anaweza tuma friend request and everything so hapo ndio ninahubiri ninahubiri hapo na very soon i'll be by nita, nita nataka yo, nini hizo the hizo equipment equipment zenye unatumia the podcast whatever that you're using right now hiyo ndio ninatafuta for now by the way congratulations i've seen you Thank grow you. so ninataka something like that ambayo kwa saudi is in my heart wacha niwaambie mimi saudi kwa kwaro yangu that to a point that unaona hata hao warabu wenye unapata saa nyingine mtu anakuambia e, mdosi wangu anafanya hivi ama dada yangu alienda kazi kukakuwa hivi na hivi Unapata ya kwamba ninaongea na wale Waarabu na wananisikianga sana. I thank God. God amenipatia that favor and that grace. Sijaiongea na Mwarabu kama msichana anapitia shida yoyote akani brush off ama akaendelea kutesa mtoto wa wenyewe. So I thank God because of that and kindly follow me na muende pale TikTok nitakuwa pale TikTok live usiku. My TikTok live nikuwe pale we shall be creating more awareness pale. Na mbarikiwe okay. sana. Uh, Yeah. I'm going to to, to pin your links. Utanipatia link yako ya TikTok, utanipatia yeah. link yako ya Facebook, okay. utanipatia link okay. yako ya YouTube na your yeah. names and your number. I'm going to pin them here kwa hii live. At okay. least watu waweze kujua what's going on. Na nimefurahi kuwa unasaidia. So sometimes nikiwa na kesi mingi tutashirikiana yeah. tuokoe yeah, maisha yeah, yeah. na wetu. And exactly. Then, uh, I have uh, my daughter, she's called Did the Champion. Uh, did the yeah. Champion come here? Ni the champion ana, anapenda kuhubiri. Sijui kama wow. una, anapenda kuhubiri na wow. anapanga na morning devotion saa kumi na moja kila asubuhi. So maybe tukuje ku invite at least one of these fine days. You hold yes. uh, na yeye. Yeah. Yeah, ju, ju sasa nimeona sasa kama amepata yes. party na <laughs> just come and say hi. This is my daughter. She's called Did the Champion. Just say hi. Hi. Wow, that's your support system. Yeah. Sasa mama, praise God. Yeah. Akipaka na kia kulia guy. Umebadi umeba pale bra. Oh yeah. Praise God. So, I know I she's your number so, one. Anapenda. She's your number one. Eh, she's your number one fan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's a wow. akona page yake inaitwa Smile yeah. with D&D TV. Hiyo ndio atakuwa na shughuli wow. nayo. At least nitamnacho because al- alikuwa ameni request. Na tutaendelea tu at least sasa tumeingia kwa family yetu ilikuwa kubwa. So guys, uh, at least you have seen tumeongea. Nimepata familia mwingine nayo mgeni. Muko na maswali mengi ya kemboy atakuja tena because I want lazima t- mimi nikishughulika mambo ya Gulf countries, my daughter ameamua anataka kukuwa preacher. I have to nacha her sister come let down na nimeona evangelist ameingia why don't we nacha this uh, small girl pia yeye akuje kusaidia maybe anaweza touch your soul she can touch my soul because most of the time wanaambia mama wakuka lakini i'm going to keep the promise because ni mwangesta come let down uh, so guys at least any question yenye ulikuwa nayo ilikuwa inakusumbua umenini